Okay, so a real world test for the new Galaxy A34. I've been here about a week or so, I just sort of get a bit of a feel for how the phone does in terms of battery and camera, etc. It was about quarter past nine in the morning. I took the phone off charge at about eight o'clock and I've done a bit of use on social media, taken a few photos and a bit of video, etc. And the phone's on 96%, so it'll be interesting to see how it does throughout the day although to be fair I'm not going to be doing a huge amount other than just lazing around the pool but nevertheless we'll see how it does pretty nice view behind and a pretty good view there as well so yeah we'll see how it does Okay, so one thing I have found whilst using this Galaxy A34 is unsurprisingly just how well it works. One UI works very well, it's very well optimised for this phone. I've not really had any bugs or anything like that. It's One UI version 5.1 on top of the newest Android 13, as to be expected as it's a new phone. Everything works really, really well. The 120 hertz display is really, really smooth and the Dimensity processor inside handles everything really well. Opens apps pretty quickly. There's no stutters or anything like that. And then I'll talk a little bit more a bit later about the camera performance on this phone. But as for the daily use of the phone, it's been really, really great. There's no bloatware as such. There's a few of, of course, Samsung's own apps, which are duplicated with Google's apps. But apart from that, it's actually really, really great. The display is really nice, full HD display. And of course, like I said, that 120 Hertz refresh rate is really smooth and just makes the user experience of the Galaxy A34 really, really nice. So I'm just gonna use the phone for a little bit longer, let you know how I get on throughout the day within terms of mainly the battery life. And I'll just take a few samples with the camera, stills, photos, and a bit of video as well. And then of course, any updates I do whilst I'm down by the pool, I will let you know using the camera of the Galaxy A34. Okay, so just a very quick update on this real world test of the Galaxy A34. Just come up to my room just to get a couple of bits. The time is now just gone half 11. I've used the phone a little bit just on social media, watched a little bit of YouTube and I'm on 85%. So it's not doing too badly, but like I said, I'll just go through the rest of the day and let you know how it does. So just testing out the video quality on the Galaxy A34. This is using Samsung's super steady mode, which is only available at full HD at 30 FPS. Now, if you want to shoot 4K, you will lose that steady mode, but if you want super steady, you can get some pretty good video at full HD at 30 FPS. Okay, so the time has just gone four o'clock. 
We're at 63% with about two and a half hours of screen on time. To be fair, that's pretty good. I've just been doing a bit of scrolling through social media, a bit of the camera, replying to some comments on YouTube. So yeah, it's on its way to do, I reckon, five hours, six hours of screen on time easy. But yeah, it's doing pretty well. lazy day out by the pool it's now 10 to 6 in the evening and the phone is on 56% this is with almost three hours of screen on time using basically the same as what I've been doing all day social media a bit of the camera taking some video and video overall on the a34 is actually pretty good um, there's plenty of detail in the video Stabilization is good. You've got Samsung super steady mode, which you can use in full HD at 30 FPS. Unfortunately, not in 4K, which this camera can shoot. And then stills photography from the A34, again, is really great, actually. The photos have that typical Samsung color pop. There's plenty of detail. 48 megapixels bins down to 12 megapixel shots. So yeah, plenty of detail in all of the photos and portrait mode does a really great job. Subject separation does a really great job despite the lack of a depth sensor. And then the eight megapixel ultra wide is really great as well. You've got that same color pop as you have with the main camera. And then detail is pretty good despite just being a bit low resolution. There isn't that usual loss of detail around the edges of the photo that you find with other budget devices. And you get that same color pop as the main camera as well so really great photos from both of these cameras and then of course that five megapixel macro camera is about what you'd expect on a budget device of course five megapixels is a little bit more than the two megapixels found on other budget devices but overall the camera experience on the a34 has been pretty great actually and then using the phone in bright conditions of course here in turkey it's really sunny really bright all the time and the display performs really well. I had no instances where I was struggling to see outdoors or anything like that. The brightness of the display is really great. And of course the user experience of that display is really great as well, thanks to that 120 Hertz display, which seems to be either on or off. You can choose an adaptive setting. You either have it at 60 Hertz or 120. And the use of the A34 today has been with the 120 hertz refresh rate on all of the time. So almost three hours and I'm at more than half battery left. I think that's done really well. So I'm gonna be getting showered and ready to go down for food this evening. And then I'm gonna come back up and just do a bit of a conclusion on the phone and we'll see where we're at battery wise and screen on time as well. So like I said, about three hours of screen on time with over 50% left so it's definitely on the way to five to six hours of screen on time but we'll see let's go down for food
Okay, so coming towards the end of the day, it's now 8.30. About three and a half hours of screen on time and we're at 44%. So I think overall the phone's performed pretty well. Got another couple of hours before I call it a night, I reckon. It's tiring being out in the heat all this time. But yeah, it's doing pretty good. Okay, so calling it a day with the Galaxy A34. It's about 10 to 10. We're on 38% with about four hours of screen on time. So I think overall the battery has performed really well. I think maybe five, five and a half hours it will squeeze down to killing the phone. But yeah, overall the battery's held up really well and the rest of the phone has done really well as well. Performance has been really dependable, I've not had any stutters or anything like that. And the camera's held up pretty well as well. It takes some really nice photos with Samsung's usual colour pop on the main and even the ultra wide camera. The macro camera, to be expected, is not the best but it does the job. Yeah, overall I think it's a really great phone. And when it comes to charging this phone and the other phones that I've used whilst on holiday, I've been using the Kesku T23 charging brick. Now this is a tiny little charging brick, packs 30 watts of power in this really tiny housing. And because of that, it uses gallium nitride, which is a material inside that is more efficient than other materials used in other charging bricks, which means it can be made smaller because it doesn't have as big a cooling technology inside. So if you're interested in a fast charging brick that isn't going to take up a load of space in your bag, the Case Coo T23 charging brick is a great option to have. I'll leave a link down in the description for where you can buy this and if you use code Ashdas Tech, you'll get 10% off as well. So that's it. That's my look at the A34, a real world test here in Turkey. I'll be going home in the next few days and I will be home when my next video drops. So let me know what you think of this video. Is it something that you'd like to see more of? And if you would, subscribe to the channel and hit a like on this video again if you enjoyed it and I will see you back at home.